Aloha everyone and welcome to another Tinker's Academy video. I'm your host Kay Elmer and this video is a further installment in the video series Welcome to Layla Q, otherwise known as Layla Quantum Tech and Quantum Upgrade. This is a video FAQ series to answer the frequently asked questions that pop up in the various chat groups on Telegram regarding the Layla products and the Layla services. This video is to answer the question that we get quite often which is what does quantum energy do? What is, you know, what is, what does this stuff do? Uh, and so for those of you who are interested in the details, and I want to just share with you what the source of the information in this video is from. So this is the source. And that is that there has been over 60 different studies commissioned to institutes, clinics, universities, independent researchers, and all of these different studies that have been commissioned by Layla Quantum Tech have been done on all of the various devices. So the blocks, the capsules, even the clothing, the frequencies, and specifically also on the upgrade service. So everything, uh, all, all of the major products and the service have, have literally been tested uh, by different groups of independent researchers under the literally gold standard of research, which is typically your control group, double blind, placebo based types of studies at an, you know, at an NIH level. And all of these studies are totally documented. There are literally thousands of pages of reports now at this point. And so that's the source where I'm going to try to give you a short answer in a video FAQ. Uh, but if you are someone who likes to get into the weeds of things, or you have a particular interest and you actually want to see the study, all of the studies are actually housed now uh, at the International Association for Quantum Technology and Frequency Medicine. So right now, this is the repository where all of the studies are now housed. So this is the homepage. Of course, all the links to everything I'm talking about will be in the video description below. But basically, you go to the homepage of, the, uh, of this repository and you just click on go to studies and then it, all of a sudden you'll have just kind of like this overall uh, just kind of groupings of different studies and then you just kind of go from there if you want to actually read the specific study itself okay now if you are someone who just likes to have a, just a short summary uh, this is the short summary and then there's also longer summaries I just want to make sure you're aware of the information where I have been doing uh, es essentially just on the big studies I've been doing uh, recaps where I kind of walk through, you know, the investigator and the methods and materials and the results and all that uh, in a video series called Benefits of Quantum Healing. And and uh, and that's just been going on for a couple of years now. So there's lots of different videos about specific studies uh, in the repository. And also, if you go on the Layla Q website or you go on the Quantum Upgrade website, look under research and you'll have the actual summaries of the studies uh, on the Layla sites themselves. So you kind of got... Um, the answer to this question uh, is this video, which I'm going to go over at a really high level because the amount of data that supports the answer to that question is huge. I mean, it is gigantic. And so we have summarized it basically on the websites, summarized it into a video series called Benefits of Quantum Healing. But if you, if you want to get into the weeds, all of the reports live at the International Association for Quantum Technology and Frequency Medicine website. So now with that said, let's just jump right in. One of the things that, what does quantum energy do? And there's all these different categories, as I showed you. If you look at all the different studies and they're all kind of categorized, basically animal health, bioenergetics, cytotoxics, food sensitive, there's all these different categories. And so when you look at the different categories, I've kind of done, uh, like just summarized again, at the highest level possible to convey an answer to this question is, concisely as I can. Okay. Now, the, one of the biggest things that uh, the quantum energy has been found to do uh, in the studies uh, is the impact it has on cellular health in a, in a very incredibly positive way. The most incredible aspect that has been discovered this year in 2024 uh, by the University of Tulsa uh, why, by a cellular biologist that did studies and they did multiple studies um, on cellular health. And the two things that really stood out uh, in those studies was the first one, which was an increase 
in ATP production. So if you're familiar with, uh, so, you know, biology in general, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we run off of, uh, off of something called ATP. That's our body energy. Our body actually takes glucose, which is food, converts it into energy molecules, and that energy molecule fuels our cells. And that is, you know, basically, and it's all done in the mitochondria, which is inside of every cell. And if you talk to any, you know, you know, cellular person, biologist, they'll always tell you, oh yeah, ATP or mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It produces the energy by which we are alive. And so what's really amazing, there's all these different methodologies by which, you know, people that are athletes specifically, they want to increase their ATP, which gives them more energy, right? Run faster, you know, do that, all that stuff that athletes do. Um, and this has been found in the study on ATP to increase ATP production just by being exposed. And when I say exposed, all of the different devices and services that I mentioned earlier, the concepts of these studies is exposing animals and people and cell cultures and all of these different things to the energy and the energy is exposure it could be whether you're being put inside of a block you're near a block you're wearing a capsule you're wearing some of the you know quantum charged uh you know clothing or you're just subscribed to the use subscription or the home subscription but you've got that energy coming to you in one way or another okay so when you're exposed to quantum energy there is an incredible increase in ATP production anywhere from 20 to 29 percent increase so try to imagine you know it's just like it's basically a quantum energy drink <laughs> you know it just really gonna boost your energy and that's what it does uh, at a cellular level and the other thing on cellular health that quantum energy does is expedites wound healing in the study on wound healing which was done five separate times to validate the results and consistently across five different experiments on the same with the same objective on what is happening with quantum energy on on human cells that have been damaged and and then they basically observe the healing you know the, the regeneration effect of the cells and what they discovered was that the cells our bodies when injured right and exposed to quantum energy that will actually heal faster anywhere from 46 to 79 percent faster healing and that is an incredible i mean that is an incredible result and this has been validated by the university of tulsa so quantum energy will give you more energy i mean literally more physical energy and it also will help you with your wound healing uh, and literally could uh, almost up to you'll heal twice as fast uh, and that's you know uh, according to these studies now the other thing that's tied to the cellular health is blood health and there has been 14 separate studies just on studying the impact to blood under a wide variances of different situations uh, and seeing what happens when uh, you know a person and this is these are all humans that they're you know testing the blood from you know human walks in off the street test the blood expose them to some kind of stimuli right test the blood and then expose them to quantum energy with or without the stimuli and then take a look and this is just one of the many examples of someone who just walked in off the street had their blood taken and this is just their average this is how they walked in this is their their normal this is baseline and then when they're exposed to wi-fi you can see what wi-fi does uh, and that's typically, you know, any radiation, cell phone towers, flying in the airplane, et cetera. But the bottom line is it immediately clumps up your blood. It decreases oxygenation and it really creates a lot of physical problems to us uh, from you know, EMF, right? But then what happens when you're exposed to quantum energy is it opens up all of those cells. They completely let go. And not only are they free floating and, and able to you know in, increase you know basically uh, intake oxygen better there's a lot of other factors that are going on but you can actually see that not only is it better than being you know than the condition of being affected by wi-fi but it's actually better than now they walked in the door so it, it's so if you just walked in the door and got exposed to quantum energy you're automatically going to get better and if you're being uh you know subjected to any kind of stressor on your blood you're, you're gonna get incredibly improvements in your blood and so now there's a lot of detail on this so i kind of wanted to make sure that of the 14 different studies uh there's one actually really good summation uh on the on the website so i kind of wanted to just share with you that and this is why it, it's so important because it's our blood and our blood is what regulates our health right so the, the main thing here is that there was uh, notable changes in blood morphology and those specific changes were a reduction in the presence of parasitic structures and pathogenic organisms there were improvements in the risk and 
erythrocyte shape and function. There was a decrease in pathogenic activity, lower incidences of ghost cells and agglutinated erythrocytes, enhanced immune response, and a reduction in signs of parasitic inf infestation on top of improved oxygenation. So there's an inc incredible effect of not only improving the blood uh, from an uh, from just a you know coagulation standpoint but it also really really affects the effect you know the effects of improves the effects of parasites okay and it also really really helps in terms of just just the health of the blood in terms of uh, just you know white blood cell count increasing uh, of those so so the impact of the blood tests and quantum energy when you ask like what does quantum energy do uh, the short answer is it really really helps your blood um, and which really really helps you in a numerous numbers of ways now the other thing about uh, quantum energy and the studies will show is that there's an incredible improvement in overall health from the aspect of stress now stress in many in in, in many of its different forms stress causes a lot of physiological changes in the body and, and it's depending on the different kinds of stress, but we are always under some kind of stress and that stress causes physiological changes that are not good for our bodies. And so these effects that have been actually specifically studied uh, and, and shown and demonstrated that quantum energy it neutralizes the effects of these types of stress. So they've looked at cytotoxic stress. They've looked at hypoglycemic, oxidative, and nitrostative stress. They've looked at EMF, and they've also looked at environmental stress. And they've looked at the stress from trauma, because trauma itself has physiological uh, effects, you know, on the body, on, you know, from a biology standpoint. Now, when they looked at all of these different types of stress, I kind of want to just got to go real high level. If you click on any one of these, it's going to actually kind of get into the the detail about the study I kind of give you a summary it says what you know what the objective was what the study was and the results and then you click right here you would get the actual study itself so just as an example from the study on cytotoxic and electromagnetic stressors EMF and cytotoxins they were looking at you know the actual effects of the different things that would affect your immune you know your immune system uh, and your, your immunological responses and so they were looking at things like cytokines such as fermarins um, and inflammasones uh, and viproprins i'm sorry i can't pronounce all this stuff but that's one of the things that they were looking at was right here is they were looking at very specific uh, biological effects and then they studied those effects to see what quantum energy would do and it reduced them all it made it better the other thing too on the actual other types of stress as i mentioned earlier hypoglycemic and nitrostat nitrostative and oxidative they also said that they also found the same thing they looked at those specific stress factors from a biological standpoint this specific one was somebody wearing one of the jackets and they saw they saw an improvement in the participant the participants bioenergetic uh, status that they were watching the actual effects of the stress biologically and they saw that the, the quantum energy was neutralizing or harmonizing the deregulating effects of hypoglycemia again so they were actually improving it through neutralizing the stress the effects of the stress and harmonizing that stress on those types of on you know based on that specific stress factor another thing that quantum energy will do is its effect on you know emf also and this is a, an environmental factor so we are subjected to a tremendous amount of pollutants in our environment whether we like it or not they just exist and there's nowhere on planet earth you can't go where you're not going to run into some kind of oxide uh, in the environment which is like aluminum oxide barium oxide strontium oxide you know, it kind of gets sprayed on us, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's also heavy metals everywhere, and that's just from, you know, industry, you know, we living in the industrial age. So there's things like arsenic and lead and mercury and, you know, uranium uh, all over the planet, spread all over. And of course, there's bacteria, anywhere from anthrax, pneumonia, and use. There's all these things that are either pathogen pathogenic or heavy metal or an oxide that's floating around in the environment on top of the EMF. And so they actually specifically looked at these specific stress factors and they also discovered that quantum energy effectively altered the bioenergetic system, shifting previously deregulated measurements towards optimal ranges when people were exposed to these environmental factors. Okay, that's another really incredible improvement 
improvement in a person's overall health just from the environment and EMF. Now, when it comes to trauma, one, the thing that there was a specific uh, test done on the Trom EZ service. And so if you've got that uh, energy coming to your phone and you've subscribed to Trom EZ, now there's what does the quantum energy do for that? And when they looked at trauma, now trauma has its own uh, biological responses, as I mentioned, that actually kick off different things that are going on. And so when they exposed people to the energy from the Trom EZ service, uh, the, you know, the quantum energy, it the test showed that there was a distinct reduction in stress markers and an improvement in bioenergetic re regulation. They actually measured too the blood serum analysis to, to reveal a normalized of previously dysregulated parameters in the blood serum, suggesting an improvement in psychological status of the subject. In other words, they could literally see a physical reduction in the effect of trauma on people. So it's also, like I said, you know, again, it's just, it's every form of stress you can imagine. Uh, and every single one of them in great detail were studied. And it was shown in every instance, quantum energy, exposure to the quantum energy reduces that stress on your body biologically. Now, there's another study that was quite interesting called the uh, regenerative competence. Now, regenerative competence was a study basically where they wanted to study the effect of people like people who were chronic iron deficiency anemia people who had pulmonary emphysema people who had swallowing disorders or and, and and people who had a heliobacterial infection so these are individuals who are chronically ill and they wanted to see what would happen right uh, when these individuals were exposed to quantum energy. And so they basically called that uh, regenerative competence, you know, regenerative competence. That's just the label they put on that specific study. And when they took people who were essentially chronically ill with something and they exposed them to quantum energy, in this case, they used the travel block, then what they discovered in that study, and this is what quantum energy does for chronically ill people, that significant improvements in the physiological condi conditions, regulatory functions, and energy supply of the subjects. Okay, the travel block or the quantum energy, right, influenced the body's regenerative capacity, showing notable improvements in the body's compensatory response and overall health. So it was an incredible benefit to these chronically ill people they were able to demonstrate what quantum energy does for you and lastly it improves sleep there was actually a sleep study done with quantum upgrade and on that study they demonstrated that there was a distinct improvement in sleep okay this is on water they de a definite improvement on sleep where people slept better they they fell asleep faster they stayed asleep longer just by having the quantum upgrade um you know running while they were sleeping and you can just imagine that that effect was seriously was clearly just from the reduction of stress on their body so that was the thing with the overall health is it is quantum energy is amazing for helping you pr improve your overall health dealing with all of the different forms of stress helping your body if you're chronically ill and helping you sleep better. And that is one of the amazing things that quantum energy does. Now, another thing quantum energy does is it reduces the effects from food intolerances. A separate study was done where they basically took people who had intolerances to glucose, I'm not glucose, but gluten, uh, one was done, had uh, you know insulin, so they were diabetic. They had ins issues with sugar uh, and so forth, right? And they took people that were they had food intolerances, and then they subjected the food, not the people, but the food to quantum energy. And when they subjected the uh, food to quantum energy, and then they they basically exposed the people to that food, right? They discovered an incredible improvement uh, in the person's ability to tolerate uh, those substances. And, 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 and in a lot of cases, it was literally while they were measuring the person's histamine reactions and measuring the person's uh, physiological reactions to the, the food that they're, you know, they have an intolerance with, they discovered that these individuals, once they had treated the food with quantum energy, they could then consume the food and it didn't affect them as negatively as, as, as they had been measured earlier. So they would measure them once before and then after and then after one all the way up to like 80 percent improvement in their reaction to the food okay in other words they could start eating stuff that they never could eat again before okay just because they had put it into a quantum block so that study is available on on the website to take a look at but it's a definitely uh, one of the most amazing things about what can quantum energy do well 
it can really kind of help you deal with things you may be out, you know, allergic to, or you have a intolerance to. Okay. The other thing that quantum energy does, and this is the most incredible, I know I keep saying that, but it, they're all just so amazing. A study was done on autistic children. And by the way, for those of you who've been waiting, the study has finally been published. It's now on the site, but the study was done on basically 42 children in a, in an, in an, a clinic in India where they were basically helping autistic children um, and they did this one year long study uh, using capsules and quantum energy uh, photos and blocks thing you know um, quantum entanglement which is like the quantum upgrade service but the bottom line though is that they work with these kids and these clinicians you know had approached Layla Quantum Tech and said hey you know would you help us do a study on these children and all of these children had been you know it was completely measured all of these kids were in a clinic being evaluated on a daily basis on on whatever scale that they use uh, for that industry it was all very quantitative uh, done as a very very detailed study it's it's been written up now and published and so essentially the study on these autistic kids was what happens when we expose these kids to quantum energy and then what they discovered was amazing all 42 kids improved in one way or another and some improved a little and other kids improved a lot like they started talking you know and so this was one of the most amazing studies that has ever ever come out was the actual uh, study that shows quantum energy has a benefit on cognitive and behavioral health and that it can help these children's break out of whatever they're trapped in and help improve their physical health and their cognitive and behavioral health. So that is another thing that quantum energy can do. Now, one, one last thing that I want to kind of convey, what does quantum energy do is it structures water. So the thing as I was showing you a little second, a few seconds ago, is if you go on the website, there's one study that was done by the Emoto Institute. If you're familiar with Emoto, it's Masaru Emoto, uh, it is literally, uh, if you are into structured water or the study of water, uh, he, his work, on water that he started doing in the 70s is, is one of the most pivotal, you know, groundbreaking, groundbreaking work that's ever been done on the study of water in terms of cymatics and, and all of that. Uh, and so one of the things was they submitted the quantum block to the Emoto Institute uh, in Japan and they studied it and they discovered that the quantum energy, the blocks, will structure water. It'll be, make notable differences in crystalline structures of water Right, and then the findings suggest a significant enhancement in the water's crystalline structure and energy following exposure to Layla, you know, Layla Quantum Tech products. So, if you take a look at this, the website again, uh, you'll see the actual pictures. Uh, this is the actual report from the Emoto Institute where they took distilled water. They did a, they did a before, they did an after, and then they did an after. At, you know, at basically ten minutes, uh, they did another one for three minutes. And bottom line was they showed a distinct improvement in the crystalline structure of water. In other words, it's structure. So if you're not familiar with what structured water is, you know, there's a, a ton of information about what it is, but it's essentially a cymatic response to vibration. And the more perfect you are, the more structured the water is, the healthier it is for you. And so this is either you can put your water in a block and charge it, or you can use Trami Z and charge the water. But the bottom line is if you're drinking quantum charged water, and you put yourself in a block or you subscribe to quantum upgrade and you are being exposed to quantum energy guess what you're mostly water so your water in your body is being structured which makes it more bioavailable it makes it more efficient in processing all the little chemical reactions that happen in your body structured water is an amazing thing and now what does quantum energy do it structures water so lastly, I just want to kind of share with you, there's four new studies that are coming out in November. This is November 9 right now. So these are coming out later this month. Um, and, and I just kind of wanted to mention this because this is the, you know, the, the answer to the question. But there's four other things <laughs> uh, that they've just discovered and the, they're going to be published. And so I just kind of did want to touch on them lightly. But these are the other things that quantum energy does. And these studies will come out this month. One of a study is it, it demonstrates an actual decrease in parasitic load. Now, when I was talking about parasitic uh, in the blood health one, this was parasitic infections, but these were signs of and incidences of and, and traces of, but this is an actual study 
looking at parasites themselves like what happens to those guys what happens and you know and, and when you're under quantum energy right being exposed to quantum energy the other one is there's another study on the impact of spike protein what they're able to do is study the blood of people that have been exposed to that and, they, and there's a definite uh, you know effect that they can measure they can't measure you know they, the, the, they don't measure the spike like what's happening to the spike protein itself what they measured was what's happening to the blood that's being you know uh, in you know dealing with the spike so they were looking at the blood and people who had it had you know, their blood reacted a certain way that was not the same as people who didn't have it so they could definitely see that there was an effect from spike proteins uh, and then when they exposed those people to quantum energy it, it reduced it reduce the effects of the spike protein just like it would reduce the effects of all that different kinds of stress it did the same with spike proteins it also discovered that it halted the formation of hydrogel so it's just an incredible study coming out this month all about just the incredible effect of quantum energy on this big issue that we've got now in our society the other one too that's another study that's coming out is a mitochondrial performance study where there's this, another institute that uh back you know had reached out to Layla Q and asked to do a, a study and they've done a study now and they're about to produce uh, the report where they basically demonstrate and they're studying the mitochondrial or the mitochondria itself and the performance of the mitochondria with the exposure of quantum energy has been it just basically the, the the high level response is that it greatly improves mitochondrial performance and in especially in the area of like cell danger responses and things like that so there is an incredible improvement in in your way that your mitochondria is performing when exposed to quantum energy then the last thing about what does quantum energy do there's another study coming out again this month there's four of them the last one is an improvement in women's health and fertility they studied a bunch of ladies at an actual fertility clinic uh, and they exposed uh, they you know before and after exposure to quantum energy and the study is going to be showing us like exactly what uh, what improved in these ladies health and what improved in their fertility so these are four more things that are what quantum energy does that are that are that will be released here uh, this month in terms of demonstrating the incredible incredible properties of quantum energy so that's it and sorry for the really long answer it's as hard it's really hard to summarize over a thousand pages actually it's thousands of pages at this point but i just wanted to kind of give you the highest level i could bullet point by bullet point what does quantum energy do and that's the answer um, and if you want to look at the studies themselves, I'll give you a link to the uh, website uh, in the video description below. So anyway, thank you so much for listening to this video. Appreciate uh, you spending your time. Uh, I know it's important to you, uh, you know, and so thank you for giving your time to this. Vielen Dank to our, our German friends. Now, if you want to stay on top of Layla Quantum Tech, uh, product announcements and news and videos like this uh, please just you know subscribe to the channel like and subscribe really appreciate it anyway so thank you very much hope this was uh, helpful and informative and we'll see you in the next video aloha